1999, I wrote an article for the Journal of Palestine Studies examining the Israeli educational system, cultural system, and political system. And I argued in that article in 1999 that the next generations of Israelis who will go through the official Israeli educational system, through the socialization uh, in the army, uh, through the, the media indoctrination, would become even worse than the early Zionist settlers, uh, become a group of supremacist, racist, uh, uh, a group of people uh, that uh, would uh, inflict uh, disasters not only on historical Palestine, but also in the area uh, around Palestine. I'm afraid I was totally correct in this uh, assessment. And this was based on, uh, you know, analyzing the content uh, of the textbook, the, the curricula, and the basic messages that young Israeli Jews were getting through the various socialization systems uh, in Israel. Uh, so what we see now, namely the fact that more than 97% of the Israelis support the genocide in Gaza is not surprising, unfortunately. Uh, it's a society that is used to dehumanize the Palestinians uh, ever since it uh, set foot in Palestine in the late 19th century, in particular, when its leaders committed the ethnic cleansing of 1948. You cannot massively kill, pe kill, kill people. You cannot uh, be totally indifferent to the death of babies, for babies operated without anesthetics, for, for, to children burying children, and for your own army committing one war crime after the other, unless you totally dehumanize the victims of these kinds of policies. And, and dehumanization doesn't come easily to people, contrary to what people think. You need to work on it. You need to socialize people. You need to indoctrinate them to such a level. But, but this is a fact now. And the fact is that, of course, there are Israeli individuals who are not like that, thank God. Uh, there are not all of them like that, but the vast majority are. And this includes uh, the, the soldiers in the Gaza Strip, the generals, the, 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 um, you know, the pundits who comment in the Israeli media about the actions, not to mention, of course, the political uh, leaders. Uh, and, and therefore, we come back to the point we already uh, made, I made before, that don't expect for, to, for a change within Israel to occur in order if you are wishing, like all of us should wish, for these terrible crimes against the Palestinians to cease. If you really want to stop genocide, and, and let's not forget the killing of 400 people in the West Bank, uh, if you really want to stop these policies now and those that Israel is planning in the future, the only way is a pressure from the outside. There are moments in history where you cannot rely on a rogue state to change from within, and it has to be pressured to change. And, and there are the means of doing it as we have seen in the case of apartheid South Africa and similar cases in history.